Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I can't even talk, it's been so long since I've done this that I kind of have like those nerves again when I first started doing this. But anyway, welcome to 2019. I hope like the first week or so has been a good one. For me personally, I've just taken time out to sort of reflect and put my hopes and dreams out there to God. Um, and just pray about it, meditate on it, and 2019 is going to be one of the best years of everyone's life. That is my wish for all of you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please do click the subscribe button, click it like Preza, and then it's gonna go from red to grey, and then you know, we're all good. Please also click the notification bell so that you guys don't miss another upload from me. So for today, I don't necessarily want to talk about my personal um, goals for 2019 because I do think that that is like individual specific. So I don't really want to come on here and tell you guys. I want to just meditate on it, put it out there to God and see it unfold. Um, but yeah, 2019 is going to be an absolutely amazing year for everyone. Good vibes and nothing else. Um, Today though, I do want to talk about my 2019 hair goals. So, while I talk about that, I'm going to be unraveling my hair and you know, getting ready for the day, that sort of thing. I've just had my hair um, in braids and I'm just going to undo it. Um, I have been trying out, as of 2019, a new natural hair care range. And essentially, I'll do like a whole review about it. But what I like about this brand is like it's all natural and it's literally so much easier than having to source all the ingredients. Everything's like mixed for you so you don't have to be in your kitchen and figure everything out. So this is my hair right now and I'm just going to do basically a braid out. My ends are twisted and I'm going to use my ORS um, Argan Oil Moisture Rich Lotion to unravel and just moisturize my hair. Okay. So for 2019, my hair goals, um, I think one of the first videos I did on here was something like a length check and I'm going to do that again today because obviously last year we had a little bit of like a derailment in this natural hair journey. Um, my first, first, I think most important hope or goal for 2019 is to keep my hair healthy. I don't want to expose it to unhealthy treatments like too much heat and that sort of thing so the first priority is to keep it healthy and then the second thing I want to like I don't want to say grow volume but I want my hair to be more vol voluminous voluminous English voluminous to have volume hey so what I intend to do because I remember when my hair used to be so thick I used to always do like protein treatments, oil treatments, and I want to incorporate that more into my AK journey. But the one thing that I'm actually going to do this year that's going to be kind of hectic for me is a protective style challenge. So I know Curly Pearly, I don't know what's her real name, um, but on YouTube she's Curly Pearly, but she always changes her name. So one day it's Blue Bob blue bottoms or blue blossoms and then it's curly pearly right now it's curly pearly so she did a um natural was it a yeah it was a six month um protective style challenge and i think that's what i'm going to participate in reason being like lifestyle more than anything like i work out a lot and i'm super busy and i love my hair but i don't necessarily always have the time to attend to my hair so I'm going to make it up point to just have my hair protected and how I'm planning on doing that is not like through wigs or anything um, I'm not ish guys wigs now like I'm not against wigs it's just it's not for me um, I haven't found the right wig it's just like that I haven't found the right wig that I think I am so in love with I see some ladies rocking wigs and they look absolutely amazing and then I also see some jacked up ones like um, but yeah, I'm not yet ready for wigs, but how I'm choosing to protect your style is basically always having my hair braided or cornrowed, um, 
just any sort of protective style that doesn't put too much tension on my hairline because of the last style I did. So I don't know if you guys have seen on my Instagram but uh, I didn't really post pictures of it because I was just so afraid of what would happen and it actually did happen. So I had yarn lots installed and they they were great, they were beautiful but they kept on unraveling, they were just not so easy to maintain and then the lady that put them in made them so tight that they basically chowed at my hairline I've got some bald spots so that I'm basically having to grow back and until that grows back I don't want to put any tension on my hair and do anything like funny or crazy so essentially I'm just going to be braiding my hair like with simple like cornrows or whatever Abdu's nothing like thin that's gonna put tension on my hairline put tension on my scalp nothing like that and then lots and lots of hats lots and lots of head scarves i have a whole collection of head scarves and i think like my friends and family know, know me as like the duke girl because if all else fails i will rock that duke and be good oh my scalp feels so good this new hair care products that i'm using oh amazing so yeah guys those are basically my goals i just want to make sure that i keep my hair healthy and i'm going to try and do a six month protective style challenge um keeping my hair protected at all times and then after six months so basically around june so on my birthday yay i must just remember to do like a six month protective style sorry hair care or whatever Hey, I'm so good. What's it in? Protective style challenge update. Too many words, but look, sis, we're gonna have a great time. So, what else did I wanna come on here and talk about? Yeah, basically, that's it. Hey, nothing hectic, nothing special. Um, another goal that I actually have is to grow this channel. So, how I intend on doing that is to bring you guys more content. Um, last year there was like a few months that I was actually consistent I would literally upload one video every single week without fail and then there was a video where I said no I've been so consistent I haven't failed yeah 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 then from then on I just would like disappear off the socials partly that was because of my mental health I just needed to make sure that I was okay and I wasn't so much focusing on everything else like my obligations like YouTube and school and whatever that I ended up forgetting to take care of myself because that would be an ultimate shame I don't do that I need to look out for me because no one's going to look out for me the best like no one's going to look out for me better than I would look out for me if that makes sense so yeah that's what ooh, my hair's tangled so yeah that's what um, I'm hoping 2019 is going to bring me I want to try and upload at least twice a week now if I can um, I'm not gonna say I'm going to, I'm gonna try my best to upload twice a week. Uh, I hope you guys will appreciate the trajectory that I want my channel to take. Um, I want it to be just basically more than just hair, more than just beauty. If I am bringing you a hair um, or makeup or beauty related video, I don't want it to be hi, here's Rezi, subscribe, uh, buy this product, buy. You know, I want it to be meaningful to provide you guys with more, you know, more of, I don't know what more is right now, but I know I need to be doing more, I need to be giving you guys more than just, hi, welcome to the channel, uh, we're gonna be beating the face, we need to have this product, because my belief, quite honestly, it's like, you can use a... 500 rand palette and a 5 rand palette and the person who uses the 500 rand palette um, could possibly not have as good of a look as the person who uses a 5 rand palette if that makes sense so for me the product yes some of you guys are interested to know what products but some products won't react to my skin the same way that it reacts to your skin you know we're all different we're all individuals I'll be sharing what I do um, if you want to take it you can take it but it's not so much that hey this is what you need to buy that's why I try to stay away from like products because 
like doing product reviews sorry because most of the times like I'll be en ending up buying a whole bunch of products that because I also got one head I'll be buying a whole bunch of products that I possibly will not like and then I've wasted all that money buying products that I don't believe in so I'll only come on here to promote products that I use I um, have bought with my own money you know that I really honestly do feel like it could help more than just one person so I hope you guys can appreciate that um, please let me know down in the comments below if you guys would be interested in joining me for the six month um, protective style challenge if like the first six months goes really well I'm even willing to take it as far as a whole year because I was looking at Curly Curly on here on YouTube and she has been doing YouTube for the longest time because I remember back in high school like 2013 I'd watch her and whatever um, and her hair has grown so much I think by now it's definitely past her collarbone past her shoulders it should be probably bra strap length and I do believe we have the same type of hair but she is so religious in her hair care she does all natural like tea cleansers um, protective styles she is just so amazing she's beautiful she's dark skin like me <laughs> um, so yeah I'm basically doing everything not everything but taking inspiration from what she has done and hoping that it works out for me okay I'm just gonna pause quickly unravel this before I continue rambling on and then um, I'll come back and do the lens check and I'll fluff out my hair and everything and I will just wrap this up if I talk guys we know this video is gonna be like an hour long you've seen my previous videos okay for the most part um, I've been able to unravel my hair but what I was realizing is like going in there with a comb actually like destroyed half the kinks or the coils and the curls the, the basically the texture from the braid out that I put in is only in the back because I was doing that mainly with my hands and then the front I went ahead and did that with a comb and basically destroyed everything but yeah this is my hair um, I'm not really going anywhere anymore because I've already come back from church so um, I'm not going to like chow my edges and finesse my hair no um, length like the part let me go get a measuring tape let's measure everything out okay so I've actually come up with a better solution I'm gonna just use measuring tape instead of just saying it comes about here 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 just get exact measurements I'm gonna use centimeters because yeah that's what we use in South Africa so if you use pounds and anything that is not centimeters ask um the top part is so short That is about 14 centimeters. The front and the back. So just the opposite side. This is about 12 centimeters, 12 and a half. So we're gonna just say 12. 12 centimeters at the back. The sides, so shorter though. This is 11. This is 12 so it's 12 12 11 14 yeah this is about right because my hair like when it's um like in its natural shape it's almost like short at the back and long in the front and then my stadium because i have um yeah my hair basically the tip of my hair is a struggle station like it's a stadium there's no hair there but it's whatever
actually 12. So my hair's lopsided. Let me just check this side again. So it's 12, 12, 12, 14. So this side is shorter. I'm gonna try this again, because if it's wrong, this is the section of hair, I'm not gonna twist it. Don't move. Now turn my hand. Yeah, it's 11. So this is, everywhere else is basically 12, 12, 12, 12. 11 and 14 um it's actually good that i use the measuring tape because when i come back to you guys i can actually give you exact measurements of how much my hair grew in six months uh, i don't know why i'm doing that i probably look crazy now i've got oils on my face and everything I told you and you're gonna look crazy but i'm not going anywhere so it's fine i'm just gonna continue to fluff and just basically leave my hair out Oh, and I have, um, remember earlier on I was telling you guys about the yarn locks that I put in? So she had put so much tension around my edges. Ah, that basically, like you can see, like here I'm basically bald. And I've got lots and lots of thinning, especially in this area. This side's not as bad. The front is also not as bad. But this side again, I've got breakage that was happening over there because of those yarn blocks and how tight they were so hopefully with the six month protective style challenge i will be able to grow out my hair in a healthy way experience the volume that i want because i want my afro to be big and vol 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 voluminous hmm, english i want my hair to have lots of volume especially when i wear my afro out I want my ends to be because my ends thin out a lot and I want them to be thicker and I'm praying that doing, doing this protective style ch challenge will possibly combat that and not having my hair my hands in my hair a lot especially when I study I pick at my hair and exper experience lots of breakage that way so prayerfully with this protective style challenge I will be able to just you know have good hair you know I'm gonna be wazzy with the good hair. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that is it for me for today. I'm gonna just continue fluffing with my hands. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you aren't joining me on the protective style challenge, please just drop a comment down below. Just say let's do this, and then put like a heart sign, heart sign, heart emoji. Wow. And then we can all just do this protective style challenge together, motivate each other. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Adios.